Dennis, after eight years, you've announced today that you're, you're finally leaving Munster. Yes, I um, decided to take up a, a contract over in France. You know, um, tough decision, but I um, just felt like I had to had to make a decision of um, playing rugby. You know, so um, something I wanted to do going over to France anyway. So. Um, and it's been tough here, you know, in the last couple of seasons with, um, with the amount of game time I've gotten and stuff. So um, I've decided to go over to France, over to um, Pro D2 side, uh, Oriac, coached by uh, Jeremy Davison, you know. So um, I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to getting on the field and uh, playing a lot of rugby, you know. So. Tell us a little bit about Oriac, Dennis. Where, where is it? Part, part of France? South it's, of France? Um, yeah, it's close, yeah, it's close to the south of France. It's about two hours north of Toulouse. Um, fly into Rodez. I was over there about three or four weeks ago um, to meet Jeremy and the, the president and stuff and um, beautiful little town um, and uh, the weather's great over there so um, that was also a plus side so um, looking forward to it. And tell me if you're, you're, you're fairly fluent in French so that won't be a problem with the, with the you know, understanding them over there. Are they understanding you maybe more importantly? We, we, we are fluent in French at the, so um, but uh, yeah they won't have any problems understanding me. I'm very good at French. Now tell me this, going back to the more immediate uh, um, few days, and it's, it's, yes. it'll possibly possibly wind up, we don't know, but it'll possibly wind up on Friday night in, in Mugsbury Park where it all started for you. Yeah, exactly, you know, so, um, yeah, because 2004 I got my first cap in uh, Musgrave Park against the Borders, I think, and um, and it looks like it'll, it'll finish in Musgrave Park as well for me, and uh, hopefully with a medal, you know, in the b &I Cup, so... Um, it's a big game for us, and we're, we're really looking forward to the forward to this weekend. You know, to get there, obviously, you, 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 you did the hard route of winning up in Ravenhill, and then winning against probably red hot favourites Leinster up in the RDS. And what was a cracking game? Yeah, brilliant game. Such a great game to be involved in. That was the first game I think I've been involved with the BNI um, this season. You know, and it was brilliant. It was such a great game to be involved in, and the character the lads showed in the last going into extra time and everything. You know, so going I think it was 11 points down as well in the second half. And uh, we dragged it back and came out with a win, which was brilliant, you know. This Cross Keys team, I know that they probably, I think they haven't, they've rested all their players for the last two games, including last night. So they would present a huge challenge. Yeah, definitely. We've, we've watched a lot of footage on them. They've, they're a different team that we've played, say, against Leinster now. They're um, a lot tighter team and we've, we've looked a lot at, at them. And it's going to be a huge challenge for us, but we're, we're well, we know all about that because we know... We know that Leinster game will mean nothing if we don't come out with a win, you know, um, Look, this Friday. Looking back then as on your on your, your career highlights? Um has to be the being involved in the two thousand six fine European Cup. So uh, winning that was such to be part of that was was huge for me. It's something I'll never forget, you know. So um, it'll have to be that one. And obviously, you know, you you, you had your share of injuries. I mean you're competing yeah. against the likes of Mikey like, Sheehan, Jerry Flanders, yeah. Mike yeah, Jerry was, and David yeah. Farley. It was goal. tough, you know, yeah. It was like coming in here there was Frankie and Jerry Flannery and then I got back in and it was Frankie and still Jerry Flannery and um got injury um and Frankie got back in and then I got back in and then uh, I got injured again and then Damien came back in so it was it and now Mike has he's done unbelievably well as well and now he's pushing on so it's 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 very tough you know it's a tough place tough position to get in at the moment so um yeah, it's, it was it was a tough tough year for me, you know. So so in with the French side, it's a year and an option on the second year. So yeah, it's a, assigned a year with the option of um, of of getting out of it, or else the option of staying another year. But um, my goal is to to play top fourteen. You know, I think I'm I think I'm well able to play top fourteen. It's something I wanted wanted to do, but um, struggled to probably get a top fourteen side with the amount of games I've gotten this season and the game time in the last two years. You know, with the injuries and stuff. So. Um, but yeah, it's a one year with the with the option. So.